for how long has Kevin been making end of quarter contributions of $1,300 to his RRSP if we know the RRSP has earned 4.35% compounded quarterly and is currently worth $85,000? Here we're going to take 85000 as the future value. And that's because Kevin has been making these contributions over a certain amount of time. So the following formula should apply since we do have an ordinary simple annuity. So let's go ahead and start making some substitutions into our formula. Noting that 85000 is going to be our future value, or FV. We also have inside of that uppermost bracket the 1300 going in for our payment size and 4.35% compounded quarterly going in for I. Of course, that's also going to be in the denominator of our fraction. So we're going to begin inside of the brackets in our numerator with our 1 plus 0 0.0435 divided by 4 times our FV of 85,000 and then divide by 1,300. Let's hit the equal sign and apply the logarithm to this number. We next need to divide by bracket 1 plus 0 0.0435 over 4. Close that bracket, apply the logarithm, and then let's hit equals. So this gives us about n is equal to 49.66. And since we need n to be a whole number, let's round up to 50. If we want to find the term or the number of years that Kevin's been making these contributions, let's apply the formula that n is equal to t times f. We know n is equal to 50. t is what we're going to solve for. And we know our frequency number here is 4. So this implies that t should be equal to 50 over 4. And dividing here, we see that the term is 12.5 years.